Welcome to CFC Fan TV. I'm delighted to be joined by a dancing Sophie Rose who's standing <laughs> next to me. We are going to be having a chat about our starting 11 yes. for this huge clash away at Liverpool at Anfield. How are you feeling about it? Right, I'm confident. Um, the only thing I am worried about is the fact that the players have done a load of travelling. I know Bakshi Wai obviously didn't feature and he sort of made a, a, put out a tweet like, congratulations boys, enjoy the 48 hour journey home, which is funny, but I mean, when it comes to one of our biggest games of the season and it's away from home, that does worry me a little bit. Uh, the team itself, we do have, I believe, a much stronger team. So that's not, some, not something I'm worried about. So hopefully they've all gone to sleep at like 5pm. 5, yeah. 5 I, think, I think you're right. I think the travelling is an issue. I think if you take it all into account, Chelsea played away in Carabag a day later than Liverpool and are now going away to Liverpool. Yeah. It's very tough, um, but I think that the team have, you know, structured it very well. I know that they stayed on GMT, like they haven't adopted any other time zone. They stayed on on yeah. British time, so they've slept when they should sleep, and they've been awake when they should be awake. Yeah, which should do us a favour. Um, and they're just going to have to to rise to this challenge because it is a challenge. Going to Anfield is tough. I think they've, I think they've only conceded one goal at Anfield, mm -hmm. which is worrying, and their form although it's been sporadic, at times they've looked incredible. You know, they've had they, that front five, certainly four, arguably five, is mesmerising at times, isn't they it? They do. I just think that we need to get it correct because we do have the better team. So I think all around we've got a bit more structure, a um, bit more consistency. I, I, the only thing that actually does worry me that I was... Conte's team that you put out against Carabao was actually quite strong, I thought, and I probably would have taken Fabregas off... Um, I, don't know, I would have, what, I would have not, given. I think Danny Drinkwater could have played that. Yeah, game. that's what I mean. Like I, I wouldn't. I think for, for Fabregas as well, because his form sort of goes in and out of times, as we know. I probably would have rested him. He's going to be crucial though at Anfield. I think. Yeah, he is. That's what I mean. So, I, I, like, of course, he has to feature in this game. We'll so we're giving it 11. away already. Yeah, so, come on. So we've put our heads together and we've come up with our starting eleven. This is yes. a team that we believe should start the game in the formation that we believe should start it. I'll be putting a graphic up in a little while, but don't want to give it all away. So I'm going to talk it through first. Make sure you do us a favour. Comment below. Let us know what you think. Do you agree with our chosen lineup? If not, let us know how you change it. So we'll start at the back. It's obvious. Thibaut Courtois is of course in goal. Yeah. No need to chat about that no, one. No, never. Andreas Christensen comes in at centre-half, taking the place of David Luiz, who started and played very well against Carabag, I thought, but Christensen's back in. Christensen's back in. There's no reason for him to be dropped. I mean, he's... I mean, he, for me, at the moment, he's a standout player. He's my favourite well, favorite, favorite for the last few games, anyway. He's an example of how our loan system works so well, doesn't it? We've brought a player back who's been on loan for a, to, to a good few clubs. You know, he's shone at Munch and Gladbach. I don't, want to say, I don't want to say he reminds me of JT because there's obviously no comparison at the moment, but he does have that like stability. I feel like he gives us that. I think his calmness on the ball Calm, as well. Yeah, exactly. Is, he's, he's excellent. He's not I think, so, I think it's so so interesting as well to see a player who's so slight. You know, he's a very slim man. Uh, he doesn't look particularly powerful, particularly strong, and yet he is because he deals with aerial threats and and the threat of of a huge uh, striker. You know, a very powerful striker in Romelu Lukaku. He deals with him not only by being very shrewd and very clever, but also by being very combative and very strong. Yeah. So it's it's impressive. So Christensen's back in. So we dropped David Luiz. And obviously Dave is going in. Aspilicueta is. He doesn't. In, know, he never goes he gets anywhere. Sophie's seal of approval. Not on the wing. Not on no, the okay. wing. So I don't think there'd be too many. Uh, I don't think there'd be too much conjecture yeah. on that front. But our third centre back playing on the left side is Scary gonna. We've gone for Gary Cahill. <laughs> Do you know why, though? I've said this in my, my past preview. I've, we've, I've not put him in the team in my previews for I don't know how, how, how long before the last, but it, there's no point in not putting him in because Conte, I mean, quite frankly, loves him. He's not going anywhere. So there's absolutely no point in us basing a club team around... As well. Yeah, he's club captain. There's no point in us basing a team when, when like, not featuring him in it because, because he's, he's always feature. going to be in it. And also, he didn't start away at Carabag, which is an indicator... You know, Avaro Morata didn't start either. It's an indicator, I think. If he didn't start in Carabag in certain positions, it probably suggests that you are in Conte's plans for Anfield. So Gary Cahill is in this lineup. We think that... Whether we think it's correct or not, we think it's going to happen, so we've gone for it. Um, I think what, it's, it's sort of like Rudiger, he... Rudiger perhaps deserved a mention here. I think, yeah. I, personally speaking, if I were picking the team, I'd probably pick Antonio Rudiger. But I'm not, and this is a team that I think will be picked. Do you know what, Premier League, though, I've, I've sort of worked out the way Conte's thinking, I think, to like 5%, don't laugh at me. But I think if he puts Christensen in, he doesn't trust taking Cahill. Like, he, he would have to have... 
to have a, like, do you know, do you see what I mean? Wants if Washington Kay, goes in, so he wants to have a more experienced Gary Cahill alongside. Yeah, he won't put him. He would never put Christensen, Dave Asper, like he doesn't. He doesn't want to do that. Okay, I he see. I see, I see. I see. Uh, fullbacks. We've gone for Marcus Alonso and Zappacosta. Davide Zappacosta. Yeah. Makes sense. I think there's not too much uh, negotiation here. Alonso, he's just he's just great, isn't he? He's just yeah. really just he's one fans man. over as event as over the very good looking. He wants. Um, he's got a, he's got very old school hair. I think he knows how to treat a lady. I think he knows exactly. I think he's a he's a very smooth individual. Well, that will help. I can us imagine on him <laughs> swanning around the French Riviera with a jumper delicately tied around his shoulders. I can't imagine that, but I mean, if that, if his help, if his, you know, influence with the ladies is going to help us win against Liverpool on Saturday, he definitely gets to be put in the team. I tell you, who will help us win? Who? Our two central midfielders. Yes. Kante and Bakayoko. I think I broke my wrist again. Yeah. I just put my <laughs> I, the mic pack has just broken my wrist. I'll cut this out, but it's oh, no. agony. Um, oh, <laughs> I'm not even joking. Get over it, Rory. What's okay, on? hang on, we'll go again in a sec. Yeah. Uh, oh, I hit it on the mic. Well. You'll be okay, you'll live. Out, you'll live, you'll live. Thank you for the sympathy. Right, anyway, yeah. um, okay, hang on. So, Kante and Bakayoko uh, are our pivot. Makes complete sense, there's no, no real debate Not here either. I think, I think those two playing together and playing well will allow Fabregas to do his thing and pull exactly. the strings and control the tempo. Yeah. So, we've gone for those three in a sort of weird midfield I shape. love Fabregas further up forward. I think, it's the, I think it's a much better position for him. And you don't stifle him either because you don't ask him to do the stuff that happens. And do you know what? Know. When he does play further up forward, because I mean, I sit, sit in the shut upper, it's, you know, mostly season ticket holders. Um, not one complaint ever. The minute I get in the ground and he's central midfield, all hell breaks no, loose. I think, I think with, with Fabregas, you, you, you have a player who has and a vast array of incredible qualities and yeah. a player who has some obvious flaws. If you ask the player, knowing him as we do, if you ask him to perform a task that will expose his flaws, you're the idiot, not him. Mm -hmm. It would be like, it's the equivalent of, asking, it's the equivalent of asking Alvaro Morata to play in goal. He, yeah. can't, he can't do that, it's not but what he does. central midfield is more for like a holding it's in the, But player. it's not and his game, is it? He's, that's not him, if yeah. You say to, if you say to Cesc Fabregas, what I need from you is I need loads of running, I need you to track back, I need you to be excellent in the air and I need you to man mark someone who's really speedy. You're the idiot for asking a man to perform yeah. outside of his remit. Yeah. If you ask him, if you ask him to pick a lot, front. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So I think that those three, Fabregas, Kante, Baki. Okay, should we put the should we put the graphic up now? Should we yeah. give him the first taster? It's up. Um, so that's what we've gone for. We've then gone for Eden Hazard and a sort of free roll behind Alvaro Morata yeah. and Morata leading the line. Happy with that? Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Um, Is there anything? I don't, there's nothing I can say about that really. They are they. Two that have to start, aren't they? One thing I will say about Morat, I think he's finally getting back to his his old his old, his old self, even though he only joined us a few months ago. Um, but I think his injury sort of stopped, like maybe yeah, it hindered it, his progress. Yeah, it hindered him a little bit, and I think it just takes when you're new to a club, especially if you pick up an injury that early. Imagine you're just trying to like, prove yourself, get back in. You know, you're trying to get back into a team where everything's sort of up in the air anyway. So I think it's 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 good for him to sort of start getting back to his best. And I think that we're going to see that in the next few games. And we're going to need him at his best because Anfield is a very tough place to go. I really hope that we can get a win there. And I think we need one. I think we've boxed ourselves into a position where we need to get a victory. We've had some bad results this season. And it means that when we go away to these, these clubs where it's harder to get a result, we have no option but to focus and really go for the jugular and get the three points. It's going to be a cracker. You know, They're a very exciting team. I don't know if I want to make this very blunt prediction. Go for it. I predict Mo Riot. Salah... No. <laughs> That's a song, no? It is. Ah, um, I predict Mo Salah probably won't score against us because I have a theory that normally it's a lot more difficult for Chelsea players that haven't really made an impact. A bit like Lukaku. A bit like Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah, well, no. He's the exception. <laughs> Great theory there, so. <laughs> um, Guys, really hope you enjoyed this not video. Um, comment below, let us know your thoughts. This is something that we're going to try and work into our every, you know, our weekly schedule. If you enjoy it, so if you have, give it a thumbs up and we will do these first 11s more often. And as usual, if you don't, this is what we do for you. If you don't like it, let us know and you will never see it again. I'm going to Anfield, I'll be up there. So, yeah, come on, you blues.